Hi, this is Christina from the GardenlyIndianMan.com. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I planned my homeschool year last year for my pre-kindergartner and the resources that I used. For the planning phase, I used only three sheets. The first one was the annual calendar. I just got it out from the internet. You can get many uh, different uh, printables on uh, in the internet for that. So the one that I have is just a plain calendar. It doesn't even have the year. As you can see, it just has Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. It has the months. So this is my yearly calendar. So I plan out the year in advance, uh, the stuff that I'm going to cover each month. So I know what to expect. And I also give a leeway of two months where I do not plan stuff. So I know um, if there are things that I haven't done, it gets pushed to those months. So that is how typically I uh, uh, plan my year. And uh, the second planner that I use is the monthly planner. So this one you can see um, is just a plain monthly calendar. Uh, this also I got from the internet. So what I typically do is I plan a week. I don't plan a separate day activities a, a lot because I feel like it's a little uh, strenuous for me because I have two kids and then it gets busy if I'm trying to get everything organized again and again and again for every day. It's tough for me. So I plan a week and I just uh, go on repetition on things for that. So last year we were doing the letter of the week curriculum. Uh, if you're interested to know how I did it, I've made a video on it. I'm going to put a link for that in the description box below. So you can look at that video to see how I did my letter of the week. So, um, so this one, as you see, for the week, uh, August 15th week, I was doing the letter L and the number one. I was focusing on that. So um, this is how um, I plan for, so for every week, it had an alphabet and a number. So this is how I planned out uh, the letter of the week curriculum uh, using the monthly planner. Apart from that, I also had a weekly pad, uh, planner because uh, I wanted to put in-depth details on things that I was teaching uh, so that I wouldn't forget to teach them. So I had um, a weekly calendar. This one I got from one plus one equals dot net. Uh, this is uh, Carissa's site. This is called a workbox uh, planner. So I use this as my weekly planner. So how it works is it has day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. So what I would do is like I would put down things I was going to teach like for example in English I would be uh, teaching um, about people and professions, doctor and other stuff. So I was just listing down stuff like that and if there was a song I was going to teach I would write that down and um, like example here I was doing um, probably two days of cutting and two days of coloring and two days of painting stuff like that what was my plan for the uh, year uh, sorry plan for the week i would be doing that apart from that i also used to put act like activities that i had like suppose this one was the felt dress up activity suppose i wanted um, this is a this is something that i made at home uh, i'm going to put a link to that also in the description box if you're interested in it you can look into it it's a felt dress up activity, activity where you can, um, your child uh, puts different clothes for the models there. So uh, this is something that he was working with uh, during that time. So uh, stuff like this, I used to put it down. So these are my three templates that I used uh, every week uh, and every month. The yearly plan, uh, planner is just one. But the monthly planner and the weekly planner is different. So I just have the same printouts where I fill out different stuff. So these are the only three forms that I used uh, for planning my homeschool year last year. Apart from that, how I organized all the stuff that... Um, so I did a lot of paperwork and I wanted to put them um, in one place where I could get look back if I needed to. So for that, I just got this big folder. So this has 24 pages, 20 pages display. So this is a really good fat book where I just put stuff like all his colorings and um, his worksheets. So I uh, planned out my year as three terms with two revisions in between. So two months were for revision 
and uh, the other months I split them out into three months, uh, three terms. So this is what I did. So each there's a leaf for each one. So this is revision one. So I I put all the stuff for that inside here. And uh, I'm not sure. I have another revision which is here. So I put out stuff for that in it. And uh, so things like this, I split out this uh, this file and I put stuff into it so that I know where to look for things that he has already completed. So this is how I organized his paperwork in just one big folder. Apart from that, I also do bookkeeping uh, because uh, we don't remember what we did a day ahead. I mean, the previous week, we don't remember stuff uh, quickly so I just wanted to log stuff that I was doing so what I did was I just took I have this uh, book I did not buy it it's um, I got it from my mom she got this probably 10 or 15 years back uh, so she had lots of leftover notebooks so I she gave me few and that's how I got this book so I used this book for my note note uh, notebooking purposes um, so this one, uh, my mom was the one who suggested this. Make sure you write all your, um, whatever you've done, make sure you put a note for it. So uh, that is how I started out on notebooking. So how this looks like is, as you can see, this is, I just fold it and this one is for term 2. So term 2, as you can see, I just made divisions in the book. So this has 3 days on it. So this is number 21, number 22, number 23. I write down all the stuff that we've done, uh, some exercises we've done, painting we've done, uh, some concept like um, if we were learning about people and professions, what we've done, and did we do some activity regarding that. So stuff like that, I make sure I write down what we did in the day. So this way, um, I have a record of what I've been doing. And uh, if I need to go back and see what I've been doing, I can... Uh, take this and uh, it, it's pretty much uh, helpful for me to know what we were working on two weeks back, did we finish this already, so stuff like that. So uh, these are basically my three resources, one is uh, the planning, planning forms, the second one is my organizing folder and the third one is my notebooking. So this is how I um, organized my homeschool year last year. I hope you find this video informational, until next time. See you. Bye.